All right, things are good. I've got the lathe running more of those screws. It's going great. A couple little tweaks and I made it even better. Um, right now, I wanna talk about the other thing that bugs me, which is end mill run out. Now, end mills are held in the tool holder with a collet and there's a lot of tapered surfaces, a lot of pieces that go together. And if the end mill doesn't spin perfectly on center, it's got what's called run out. And the more wobble there is, the worse it is for very, very tiny end mills, especially like this. And for any size end mill, it will give you a worse surface finish. So the less run out, the better. And this is how I'm measuring run out. If you've never done this and you're doing machining, you're missing out because life is much better when you know what your run out is. So I've got my Minchitoyo here. All I'm doing is I've got it mounted on the shank, like touching the shank there, and I'm just spinning it. So it's not at zero right now, but that's okay. You can see how much wiggle there is. There's about two tenths of wiggle, which is acceptable. I prefer for less than that, but nothing more than that. And then if you have excessive run out, how do you fix it? Well, you loosen the nut, you rotate the collet around somewhere else, tighten it back up, see what you get. Sometimes it changes up and down. Um, I notice, like on the Tormac, and a super easy way to do this is because the Tormac is not a, an indexed thing, it, it can go in any way. So like for this guy, if, Let's see, machine is off. Um, if I wanted to, if I had a little bit of run out in this tool, I can just take it out, rotate it to a different position, and then check the run out again, and that will tell me, like that will change the run out, because you know, the Tormac tolerance is just the way it's held and everything is not incredibly excellent, um, but that's okay, because that actually works quite nicely for this, this method. So this is how I used to dial in end mills for, for very zero run out or very low run out and then I put a mark on the spindle and a mark on the tool holder and match them up so actually if you look at my tool drawer let's see well maybe they don't have them anymore but I certainly used to draw a white paint marker there and uh, match it up with the spindle all right so like I said this one's got two tenths of run out um, that's acceptable. I prefer for less, but I'm going to go with it for now. Um, 